Om Shri Sai Ram. Humble prostrations at the divine lotus feet of our beloved master, Bhagavan Shri Satya Sai Baba. Dharma Vahini, Chapter 5 Education for Women. Summary In this chapter, Swami advocates education for women but emphasizes the importance of appropriateness and being holistic in its approach. Discrimination and judgment need to be the cornerstones of conduct instead of unbridled freedom. Progress of not just the family but also the community and the nation itself depends on the proper education of women. If women develop atmic consciousness together with objective worldly education, they can shape and mold their children and the next generation besides their husbands. Running after fleeting pleasures and domineering ways offers pseudo-freedom, making them disconnected from their atmic self and can negatively impact both them and the world around them. So proper education, together with good character, morality and modesty, is the cornerstone of dharma for women. Key takeaways from this chapter First, ancient Indian society had numerous enlightened women sages who enriched society with their being and wisdom. A key characteristic of them all was that besides their knowledge and wisdom, they were entrenched in their simplicity, humility and devotion, which greatly enhanced their impact and effectiveness. This is an apparent contradiction to the attention-seeking flamboyance that is often propagated amongst women as a tool to success. Recognition of a woman's intellect and power need not require compromising their feminine essence of humility and modesty. Instead, it enhances it. Second, the impact of a woman's character and influence on her male partner is often underestimated. It is said that while the man may be the head of the home, the woman is the neck, which will determine which direction the head will turn. So, a woman who has a strong spiritual base can elevate her partner to far greater heights than a worldly, petty-minded one would. Third, the impact of the woman on the wider, largely male-dominated society is often unrecognized. It is said that the hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. Up to 80% of our personality that we carry with us lifelong are formed within the first 8 to 10 years of life. During these years, the child is almost totally dependent on the mother and the mother consequently has a disproportionately large impact on the child's development at this stage than the father. A well-educated mother with a strong character can shape the future generation's moral compass well into their adult lives with what they do in those formative years. End of chapter 5 Jai Sairam